Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Arjawi. The president of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky, received in Kiev the foreign minister, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, who conveyed to him the greetings and best wishes of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Dr. Azayani affirmed Bahrain's stance calling for an end to the war in Ukraine. He said His Majesty the King has underscored on many occasions the need to end the war and reach a solution to the conflict through peaceful and diplomatic means in order to maintain peace and security in Europe and the world. He expressed Bahrain's wishes to Ukraine and its people of peace, stability and development. The Ukrainian president asked Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azzayani to convey his greetings and appreciation to His Majesty the King as well as his best wishes to the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people for more growth and prosperity. He praised His Majesty the King's stance, calling for an end to the war in Ukraine, commending the Kingdom's humanitarian support to the Ukrainian people. He also emphasized Ukraine's keenness on broadening cooperation between both countries in various areas. The meeting was attended by Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dimitro Kuliba, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Germany, Abdullah Abdel Latif Abdullah, the Director General of the Foreign Ministry Affairs Ambassador Talal Abdel Salam Al Ansari, the Ukrainian ambassador to Bahrain residing in Abu Dhabi, Dimitro Sonik, and the accompanying delegation of the foreign minister. Ukraine's first vice prime minister and minister of economic development and trade, Yulia Sverdinko, received in Kiev the minister of foreign affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, on the occasion of his official visit to Ukraine. The Ukrainian Vice Prime Minister welcomed Dr. Azayani, praising the joint cooperation and mutual keenness to further bolster it. She commended the stance of the Kingdom of Bahrain, calling for an end to the war in Ukraine, praising the Kingdom's humanitarian support. The Foreign Minister expressed happiness at visiting Ukraine, lauding the growing bilateral cooperation in various fields. He also reiterated Bahrain's keenness on a peaceful end to the war in Ukraine through direct negotiations to foster peace, security and stability in the European continent and the whole world. Both sides discussed the means of boosting bilateral cooperation and reviewed developments in Ukraine and the region, as well as issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dimitro Kuliba, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Germany, Abdullah Abdel Latif Abdullah, the Director General of the Foreign Ministry Affairs Ambassador Talal Abdel Salam Al Ansari, Ukrainian Ambassador to Bahrain residing in Abu Dhabi, Dimitro Sanik, and the accompanying delegation of the Foreign Minister. The chairman of the Ukrainian parliament, Verkovna Rada, Ruslan Stefanchuk, received in Kiev the foreign affairs minister, Dr. Abdel Latif Rashid Zayani, on the occasion of his official visit to Ukraine. Dr. Zayani expressed happiness about visiting Ukraine, stressing Bahrain's keenness on bolstering cooperation with Ukraine to serve common interests. He praised the steady development of the bilateral cooperation, affirming Bahrain's concern about maintaining peace and security in the European continent and the world. He reiterated Bahrain's stance calling for an end to the war in Ukraine and to start direct negotiations to reach a political solution to the crisis. He wished the Ukrainian people peace, security and prosperity. The Verkhovna Rada chairman welcomed the Minister of Foreign Affairs, stressing that his official visit to Ukraine reflects the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to further cement the ties of friendship binding the two countries. He voiced his country's appreciation of Bahrain's efforts to promote peace, tolerance and coexistence. He also underlined Ukraine's interest in enhancing bilateral cooperation, wishing Bahrain further development and prosperity. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Germany, Abdullah Abdel Latif Abdullah, the Director General of the Foreign Ministry Affairs, Ambassador Talal Abdel Salam Al Ansari, Ukraine's Ambassador to Bahrain residing in Abu Dhabi, Dimitro Sonik, and the accompanying delegation of the Foreign Minister. The Foreign Minister, Dr. Abdel Latif Rashid Azayani, held official talks in Kiev with his Ukrainian counterpart, Dimitro Kuleba, within the framework of his official visit to Ukraine. Dr. Azayani thanked the Ukrainian Foreign Minister for the invitation to visit Ukraine, praising relations of friendship between both countries and growing cooperation in various fields, thanks to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. The Minister of Foreign Affairs voiced Bahrain's keenness on a peaceful end of the war in Ukraine through direct negotiations to boost security, stability and peace in the European continent and facilitate food and energy supplies to the whole world. The Ukrainian Foreign Minister hailed the official visit of 
Dr. Abd al Latif bin Rashid Azayani to Ukraine, which reflects the interest of the Kingdom of Bahrain in bolstering relations of friendship and cooperation between both countries. He also stressed Ukraine's keenness on promoting joint cooperation in various areas. The Ukrainian Foreign Minister affirmed his country's appreciation for Bahrain's stance, calling for an end to the war in Ukraine and the establishment of peace in the European continent. He also commended Bahrain's keenness on supporting humanitarian work in Ukraine, wishing Bahrain continuous growth and prosperity. The two ministers discussed ways of enhancing bilateral cooperation and reviewed the developments in Ukraine and the efforts made to stop the war and reach a peaceful solution to the conflict through diplomatic means. Both sides also discussed the latest regional developments and issues of common interest. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Germany, Abdullah Abdul Latif Abdullah, the Director General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Talal Abdul Salam Al Ansari, Ukraine's Ambassador to Bahrain residing in Abu Dhabi, Dimitro Sonik, and the accompanying delegation of the Foreign Minister. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Barashid Azayani, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleba, held a press conference following the joint official talks session in the presence of two delegations from the two countries. The Foreign Minister expressed pleasure in visiting Ukraine at the invitation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dmitry Kuleba, and the hospitality and warm welcome he and the accompanying delegation received, stressing that it's a good opportunity to discuss ways to strengthen and develop friendship between the two countries in a manner that serves the common interest and benefit for the two friendly people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs said that he held fruitful and constructive talks with the Ukrainian Minister of Foreign Affairs, during which tracks of bilateral cooperation in various political, economic, trade and cultural fields were discussed. The Foreign Minister said that the two sides also discussed the developments of the war in Ukraine and its repercussions on security and stability in the European continent and the world. He affirmed the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain, calling for the need to stop the war in Ukraine and the call of His Majesty the King on many occasions on the need to end the war and reach a political solution to the conflict through peaceful means and through negotiations and diplomatic means in order to preserve security in Europe and the world. For his part, Mr. Dimitri Kaliba expressed his appreciation for the Foreign Minister's visit to Ukraine under the current circumstances, stressing the importance of the first visit by a high-ranking official from the Kingdom of Bahrain since the establishment of the diplomatic relations between the two friendly countries more than 30 years ago. Mr. Kuliba also praised the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain, calling for an end to the war in Ukraine, stressing that the talks dealt with strengthening political dialogue between the two countries. The Ukrainian Foreign Minister also affirmed his country's desire to expand cooperation between Ukraine and the Gulf Cooperation Council, stressing the importance of the Kingdom of Bahrain's role in the Gulf system at the regional level in the Middle East. The Finance and National Economy Minister, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received the Indian Minister of State for External Affairs and Parliamentary Affairs, Shri V. Moral Al Dahran. The Minister of Finance and National Economy praised the advanced cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India, particularly in the economic and investment sector. He reiterated mutual keenness on furthering bilateral relations and expanding cooperation for the benefit of both countries and peoples. Key financial and economic issues were also discussed. The Minister of Labor, Jamil bin Muhammad Ali Hamidan, inaugurated the 18th Career Day exhibition, which was held by the University College of Bahrain in the presence of the university president, Dr. Rana Sawaya and with the participation of a number of institutions as well as the public and private sector companies. The Career Day exhibition aims to introduce university students to employment opportunities in the private sector and to guide the youth towards the specializations required in the labor market. The Ministry of Labor is exerting efforts in building an integrated vision in order to bridge the outputs and the needs of the labor market in addition to the continuous endeavor of creating suitable job opportunities for all. The rapid changes in the labor market have made these fairs vital as it provides university students the necessary information in terms of educational and training basics to provide them with the professional skills needed by the labor market, in addition to facilitating the introduction of university students to the actual and future needs required in the labor market. The Tourism Minister, Fatma bin Jafar al-Sayrafi, held a meeting with her Indian counterpart, Rohan Kahunte, 
on the sideline of the Arabian travel market held at the Dubai World Trade Center in Dubai. They discussed the cooperation to encourage inter-tourism as well as launching joint tourism packages. They also discussed the cooperation to attract more Indian weddings to Bahrain in light of the great success achieved by the kingdom in revitalizing the wedding tourism sector. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan bint Najib Tawfiqi, participated in the 36th meeting of the GCC Ministers of Youth and Sports Committee, which convened in Oman. The minister expressed optimism in the joint GCC Youth and Sports March, which is inspired by the directives of the GCC leaders to support and empower the youth as they are the assets and hope of the nation. She voiced pride in the directives of GCC leaders to fulfill the aspirations of the youth, care for them, and invest in their talents and capabilities to empower the youth to build their futures. The meeting also discussed several topics of common interest in the field of GCC youth. The participating ministers vowed to continue to propose initiatives and suggestions to reinforce the joint cooperation in the youth field. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the ambassadors of the countries of the European Union appointed or designated to the Kingdom of Bahrain. At the beginning of the meeting, the Under Secretary congratulated the ambassadors and the heads of the diplomatic missions on Europe Day. He also discussed with them the existing strong relations between Bahrain and EU countries and the ways to bolster Bahrain's cooperation with their countries to serve the common interests. The Undersecretary and the Envoys underlined the importance of developing and strengthening these relations in various fields, especially the economic investment security, parliamentary and climate change. They also emphasized the need to increase joint coordination between Bahrain and EU countries, which would contribute to raising the level of bilateral cooperation between them. Several participants of the joint Bahrain-EU Conference on Freedom of Religion and Belief lauded the principles and values that the Kingdom of Bahrain upholds through its various initiatives to promote the values of peace and coexistence. They commended the success of the conference, noting that it links preserving the environment with the concept of religious coexistence. The participants praised the content of the conference, which reflects the keenness of His Majesty on peace, adding that all topics discussed support promoting freedom of opinion, coexistence and peace.